everybody. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Oh my goodness, you guys. I have so much work to do. I got to clean my house tomorrow. <laughs> I will be doing videos though. Um, like I said, tomorrow's kind of a quieter day for us. And then we have guests over um, on the weekend. Not a lot of people this year because of the pandemic. Uh, just my husband's family. But um, I got I to gotta, I gotta vacuum and, and do a little cleaning. I get, I get my new vacuum cleaner from Kohl's. I got the... Um, what is it? The Shark Vortex? I love Vortex. I love that vacuum. I got I to gotta tell you about this vacuum at some point. It's great. <laughs> I should review my vacuum. But, oh my gosh, tonight I want to talk about the perfect Christmas. This is actually um, the candle that comes in the Purchase with Purchase Give Love box. This just showed up today online and it's supposed to be in stores today. Now, don't forget, tomorrow, Bath & Body Works is closed for Thanksgiving, which is good. I always hated it when, you know, they open up the store at like 5 o'clock and people are rushing out. Um, I just like to relax at home on Thanksgiving. I think it's going to be fun to do a couple videos. I'm really hoping we get new product. That would be such a neat Thanksgiving treat, uh, just to relax and go through the site. Um, but I will have something on for tomorrow and then um, of course we are rolling into actual Black Friday on Friday. Uh, we'll see if there's any more surprises. You never know. Bath & Body Works could do an online special tomorrow that's different. We don't know. If there is something I will be here to tell you, of course. So like I said, um, the box was released today in store and online. This box is $40 and um, you have to make a $40 purchase in order to get it. So you're going to be paying $80 total. Part of the box includes the Pure Wonder stuff. I did a video about the box. Um, the Merry Cookie. And then the Three Wick Candle is the Perfect Christmas. Now this candle is actually beautiful. I love the Santa sleigh. I love the bling. I love everything about this candle. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous because so far this year, um, the perfect Christmas we got in the White Barn Charles Dickens kind of collection, and then we got it as a luminary, which I wasn't super crazy about this one. I like the perfect Christmas uh, to be a little bit um, jazzier like it was last year. So remember last year's? This candle was so pretty. I remember this was really popular. Um, people were buying this one up with the little uh, Santa belt lid. Oh my gosh. They all smell the same. This scent is super consistent. Um, you're not going to notice a difference usually from year to year. I've never noticed a difference. Um, the scent notes in this one are fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. It's really a unique, strong scent. So I would say it's about a third of each of those scents. So it's not an overly uh, piney scent. It's not an overly marshmallow scent, and it's not an overly cinnamon scent. What they've done is they've weaved all three scents together in this one. Um, it is strong, though. Um, the pine, I would say, maybe is the dominant of the three, if I had to say one of them was more dominant. But you do get that strong cinnamon in here, too. Um, the marshmallow, like I said, it's still like a third for me of each scent. They all mix together in this really neat way. You wouldn't think that if you added um, like toasted marshmallow, uh, cinnamon sugar, and fresh cut pine together, it would make for a good scent, but it really does. It smells uh, like Christmas. This is one of the candles that I buy every year. Um, I burn every year, and um, it seems like we all enjoy it. It's strong. I would say it's either a medium to a medium high throw. And it's a fast start. So even this one, this one's been going for about an hour now, I would say. I'm getting a nice wax pull on here. Um, the minute I lit this one up, I like the red wax, by the way. Um, I could smell it. It was just like a woof. <laughs> I always talk about the woof. <laughs> Sometimes you get a candle. It's a really slow start. You light it up and you're like, there's no scent. But like after about an hour or even a half hour, you start to get a nice aroma. Um, but some of the candles get the woof scent. <laughs> and the minute you light it, uh, you can just smell the nice aroma coming off. That's how uh, the perfect Christmas is. And it's pretty consistent between... Um, cold 
and um, burning. It, it's delightful for Christmas. I highly recommend it. So is this candle a good deal in the box? I think it is. This is absolutely uh, my favorite design of um, the three this year. Like I said, we've got it in the white barn. We've got it in this kind of boring luminary. But the box, like I said, is going to be 40 with the purchase. If you're going to spend 40 anyway, I think the box is absolutely worth it because, of course, then um, you're going to get the single wick, too. You're going to get the, um, the Merry Cookie, and then you're going to get all the body care. So even if you don't like Pure Wonder, um, you could easily gift this to somebody else. Or um, a lot of people don't like, for some reason, they don't like the purple and the Pure Wonder. I kind of like it. Um, they were going to see if they could exchange that one. The soap is Tis the Season, which is absolutely delightful. And the little sleigh matches the candle, which is kind of neat. And then, um, of course, you get, oops, I won't go back in. Uh, you get the cute little um, bear with the crown uh, socks. I like the socks. The socks are really neat. So overall, um, I've been saying this since I got the box. I think the box is a really good deal. So let me know if you're getting the box. Let me know if you like a per the per. I always say a perfect Christmas. It's the perfect Christmas. <laughs> I am going to sign off now unless something incredibly fabulous happens via email. If we get news of some wonderful uh, sale uh, for tomorrow, which you could. You never know. I hope everyone has a wonderful, magical day tomorrow. Lots of turkey or whatever you whatever you want to eat. We're actually having meatballs tomorrow, believe it or not. Uh, but we're having green bean casserole and stuffing as a side, got to have green bean casserole and stuffing because we don't stuff the turkey. We have the stuffing on the side. So it's kind of an unusual meal, but uh, we're excited. So anyway, happy early Thanksgiving. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>